Hello everyone, this is Sumitra Gupta. Welcome you all for my 10th lecture of Electronic Device and Circuits that is Construction, Working and Characteristics of EMOSCEL. So outline for today's topics are MOSFET introduction, classification, operation, MOSFET reasons and characteristics along with the application. So first of all, we will learn today's uh, MOSFET introduction and classification. So uh, first question is what is MOSFET and why it is called MOSFET? So uh, remember in the previous lecture I have covered BZT and FET. In FET field effect transistor I have already explained in the previous lecture an electric field applied at gate or we can say voltage applied at gate to control the current between source and drain is called FET. Again, listen, a voltage applied at the gate to control the current between source and drain is called FET. In FET, there are two types, JFET and MOSFET. Today, we will cover MOSFET. In MOSFET, there is extra layer that is called SIO2 layer. It a layer is behave like a capacitor. In capacitors, there are two parallel plates and in two parallel plates, there is dielectric material inside. So, just like this, there is a gate, there is channel. In between both, there is an extra layer that is oxide layer so remember this metal uh, this contact is of uh, of uh, metal m and this layer is ox oxide layer and this is substrate is of semiconductor again listen this contact are of metal this layer of oxide this substrate are of semiconductor that's why its name is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor again listen metal for connection o for oxide layer as for semiconductor, that's why its name is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Now here, uh, there are four terminals, gate, source, body and tray. Now MOSFET classification. In MOSFET, there are two types of MOSFET, depletion and enhancement type MOSFET. My question is, what is the difference between depletion and enhancement type MOSFET? In depletion type MOSFET, during fabrication, channel is there. But in enhancement type MOSFET, during fabrication, there is no channel. There is no channel during fabrication. That is the basic difference between depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type. In depletion type MOSFET, there are two modes, depletion mode and enhancement mode. In enhancement type MOSFET, only enhancement mode. What is the difference between depletion mode and enhancement mode? As the word indicate, D means depletion means something depleted, something reducing. E for enhancement. So in depletion type MOSFET, since channel is already there, so channel can be reduced, channel can be increased. So depletion mode for reducing the channel, enhancement mode for enhancing the channel. But in enhancement type MOSFET, there is no channel during fabrication. We have to create the channel. We have to enhance the channel. So it, uh, in enhancement type MOSFET, only enhancement mode is there. So that is MOSFET classification, depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET. And remember in both types, there is two types, N channel, P channel. N channel, P channel. Now, if you remember the symbol, this was the symbol of FET. Okay. Now in D MOSFET, the symbol will be like this. There is channel. It indicates dark color means uh, there is channel during fabrication. Now in enhancement type MOSFET, channel is not there, the breakable line will be there. So this indicate channel is not there. Or you can uh, simply draw the symbol. Then also channel is not there. If dark is, we are doing darking, it means channel is there, but there channel is not there. So these are the symbols. Now, next topic we'll cover. E MOSFET operation. So, uh, we are taking N channel MOSFET operation. Now, remember uh, some things. If channel is N type, then substrate will be of P type. If we are taking E MOSFET, N channel, so N type means N channel and P substrate. And P substrate. If we are taking P type MOSFET, then channel will be P and substrate will be N. Okay, so first of all, we are doing the N channel MOSFET operation. The substrate will be of P type. Okay, 
now uh, if uh, if you remember uh, what i have explained that in uh, in enhancement type mosfet channel is not there means we have to create the channel so working if we can um, understand in three mode accumulation mode depletion load and inversion now there is gate there is source there is drain okay now what is happening in uh, first condition i am giving vg equals to negative i am applying vg equals to negative okay so i am applying negative here and substrate is of p type in substrate p type what is the majority carriers majority carriers are holes holes having charge plus so what will happen these plus will be attracted with this minus so all the plus will attracted towards this side again listen carefully i am applying negative voltage at the gate i am applying negative voltage at the gate so this negative is at gate and this p type has positive positive will be attracted to negative so all the holes will collect in this region so this is called accumulation means holes are accumulating in this region okay again listen holes are accumulating in this region so this is called accumulation that is condition 1 condition 2 what i am doing i am applying vg equals to positive but very small positive first condition i am applying very small voltage of vg so what will happen if i am applying positive uh, uh, the all the holes will repel all the holes will repel repel means uh, because uh, plus plus will repel so all the holes will leave this region if all the holes will leave this region it is called depletion depletion means depleted of mobility mobility carriers or mobile carriers depleted of charge carriers so this particular region is depleted that's why it's called depletion region again listen i am applying vg positive so due to this positive all the holes repels down all the holes repels so in this region there is no holes so this region is depleted of holes so this is second condition depletion now in third condition what will happen uh, in third condition i am increasing this voltage i am applying whatever vg is positive voltage i am increasing this voltage if i will continuous increase this voltage what will happen all the holes already repels all the holes already repels and comes down then what will happen i am again continuously increasing the voltage then there are some minority carriers here in p type semiconductor if you remember majority carriers are holes but minority carriers are electrons so all the electrons will attract to this region so if you clearly see this region in this region only electrons are there because due to this positive charge all the electrons are attracted here so this region actually it is of p type but it is now behaving like n type again listen this whole region of p type but this particular region only electrons are there so this particular region behave like n type and this is called inversion this is called inversion means it was uh, it was of uh, p type but behave like a n type so this is called inversion this is called inversion or we can say channel creation so in short now channel is there now uh the uh, pause a video for a minute and just think about this now channel is there can current flow if channel is there can current flow no why uh, see the example of tap now you have switch on this tap and this is a pipe for water flow if you switch on the tap water can flow that depends on your tanki if there uh, that depends on your supply if water is not in the tanki then how can it flow in the pipe if there is no supply then how can water flow that is the question uh, the uh, main thing is channel should be there pipe should be there for water flow but water can't flow if there is no supply of water here understood so when we we'll apply the supply then only water can flow okay so now the condition is if i will apply plus here at drain then what will happen at the due to this plus sign all the electrons will attract to this plus sign so slowly slowly all the electrons start to 
flow to this plus side. And if you uh, know the current flow opposite to the direction of electron. If electrons are coming to this side, the current will flow from this side to this side. The current will flow from drain to source. Okay. Now the question is there. Uh, I have uh, increases this voltage. Now I am increasing this voltage and what will happen? So if I am increasing plus vo uh, voltage, then electrons will come in very speed, high speed. And this side electrons, whole, uh, all the electrons will attract this side and uh, comparatively this side. So this particular region depleted more than this uh, side. Again, listen carefully. I am increasing the plus sign here. So the electrons which are nearest, that will attract it more in more speed uh, rather than these uh, far electrons. The electrons which are nearest will attract it more than this far is. So this particular reason will be um, in this shape. Okay. Now what will happen? Again, I'm increasing this voltage. Again, I'm increasing this voltage and what will happen? Then after some time, uh, the current will be constant or we can say saturated. For example, in the tap, you have a pull on this switch and now supplies you are again increasing but that water can depend on the pipe now if pipe bit this uh, is uh, only this much and uh, uh, then there will be limitation of the water water can't uh, overflow to the pipe okay so similarly here after some time what will happen the current will be maximum okay and uh, Again, you are increasing the voltage, then the channel will be shifted to this direction. The channel will be uh, like, it will be shifted to this direction or this direction. So that is called pinch of condition or we can say channel length modulation. Okay. So in short, when you have applied minus accumulation, when you apply plus channel created, when you have applied, supplied drain, then current start to flow. That is your end channel. Uh, and channel E MOSFET operation. Okay. Uh, now in P channel MOSFET, what will happen? In P channel MOSFET, the, all the working is just opposite. In P type, if channel is P, then substrate is N. If substrate is N, and we have to create channel P. So if we we'll apply plus here, if we apply plus here, all the electrons will attract here. That is called accumulation. So for channel, what we have to create, uh, apply minus. If we'll apply minus, so all the electrons will repel and all the holes will collect here. The holes will collect here. That means channel is there. <clears throat> if holes are there, then supply should be negative because holes will attract it to negative side. So all the holes will move from this source to drain. And now what is the question? What is the uh, direction of current? If holes are flowing from this to this plus supply, and what is the direction of current? Direction of current is always same as the direction of hole. So current will always uh, flow from source to drain in case of P MOSFET. Source to drain in case of P MOSFET. So that is your uh, MOSFET operation. Now next uh, topics uh, are MOSFET reason of operation. MOSFET reason of operation, remember there are three reasons, cutoff, linear and saturation. Cutoff reason means channel is not there. If channel is not there, the current can't flow. If pipe is not there, how water can flow? So cutoff reason means channel is not there. Linear reason means channel is there and current start to increase. <coughs> so ID will be equal to KN dash W by L VGS minus VTH into VDH minus half VDH square. Remember this Kn dash is equals to mu n, mu n Qx. Mu n is your mobility of electrons, Qx is your oxide thickness. Uh, remember these formulas will different for P type. For P type it will be Kp. Kp means mu P Cox. And now next is if you are again increasing supply and you are increasing supply more and more but current is maximum saturated, that is your saturation reason. The current in case of saturation reason is ID equals to half KN dash W by L VTS minus VTS whole square. Okay. So uh, in short, N channel requires positive voltage because uh, N channel electrons are there and electrons will be attracted by the positive voltage. And P channel requires negative gate to source voltage. Okay. So 
so that is a, a transistor different regions of operation next is characteristics if you remember uh, if the working when uh, there was accumulation reason channel was not there means in negative voltage when we apply negative voltage uh, i am just taking for n channel in n channel what negative voltage channel was not there the current was zero in positive voltage in starting there was no channel only depletion is not there when it's small positive voltage we apply there was no channel okay only depletion is but in when we increase the positive voltage channel was there and after channel creation current uh, follows the ohms law means we increasing the voltage the current decreases this is your transfer characteristic in drain characteristic drawn between drain current and drain voltage remember uh, uh, this is a part, uh, when we just constant uh, we will take particular value of vgs in starting current increases then constant if again uh, vgs increases then current increases after some time uh, maximum then constant then increases constant increases constant so there are three reason in this reason this is cut off reason there is no current ideally and remember in this uh, reason the current is uh, same as voltage current following the ohms law so this particular reason is your ohmic reason okay now again understand this is your cut off reason now after uh, when you increasing the voltage both in vgs vds current increases and uh, saturated and then constant So this particular reason are saturation reason, and in this ohmic reason, the current follows the ohms law. Means when you increase in the voltage, current increases. So this particular reason, ohmic reason. There are three type of reason: ohmic reason, saturation reason, and cutoff reason. This is for n channel. For p channel, only uh, polarity will be changed. In p channel, if n channel VGS is positive, in p channel VGS will be negative, and current is increases. when we apply the input voltage the current is increases same here also current increases and here also current increases but the difference is here vgs is negative and same here vgs is negative you are increase the voltage current increases and constant current is constant this is in, uh, this is your uh, ohmic reason this is your saturation reason this is your cut off reason and this is your ohmic reason so that was the characteristics of mosfet next is mosfet application mosfet are used in integrated circuit like microprocessor it is used in calculator memories cmos gates and lock switches amplifier power electronics and oscillator ready system so there are lots of uh, application of mosfet and generally we never use d mosfet we use e type mosfet thank you so much keep learning if you like it please like and share keep learning got it